Hi, in this video we're going to solve this logarithmic equation. We have the log of x plus the log of x minus 2, and that's equal to 2. Let's go ahead and go through the solution right away. Solution. We'll start by combining the logarithms. Because we have a plus in between them, it turns into the product. This becomes the log of, and it's going to be x times, and then x minus 2 parentheses, parentheses, and this is equal to 2. So this is a property of logs. It says if you have the log of A plus the log of B, that's equal to the log of A times B. This is called the product rule for logarithms. So in our case, this is our A, and this is our B, and it becomes the log of A times B, and that's equal to 2. The base here is an implied 10, so whenever it says log, the base is implied to be 10 most of the time. So we can get rid of the logarithm by exponentiating both sides. So I'll put a 10 here, and I'll put a 10 here. This process is called exponentiation. We're exponentiating both sides of the equation. These cancel, basically, if you have 10 log base 10, of let's just say a, this is equal to a. When the bases are the same, you just get that. This is because they're inverse functions. We're basically taking their composition, uh, and that's why it's happening. So here we have x times x minus 2, and this is equal to, well, 10 squared is 100. And now we can distribute the x. So we get x times x, which is x squared, minus, and then x times 2 is 2x and this is equal to 100. Then we can subtract 100 from both sides, so minus 100, minus 100. So we're gonna get x squared minus 2x minus 100, and this is equal to zero. So this should factor, we need two numbers that multiply to 100 and add to negative two, so we need two numbers so what numbers multiply to 100? Uh, well, 10 is a number that multiplies to 100, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to factor this easily. So what we might have to do is we might have to um, take another approach. Let's complete the square. So let's write it again. And what I'm going to do now is take this minus 100 and add it to the other side, like this. All right, so now we're gonna complete the square. So I'm just gonna do it x squared minus 2x. So what you do here is you take this number, you divide it by 2 and you square it, and you add it to both sides of the equation. So you do negative 2 over 2, you square it, and that's 1. So you put a plus 1 here. But what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So this is 100 plus 1. And now this is called a perfect square trinomial. It will always factor because we added this quantity to both sides of the equation, in particular, we added it to this side, we completed the square, so this becomes a perfect square. It's going to be x minus 1 squared equals 101. And the, right, the way I know that is, I just know there's a parentheses, I know there's a 2, I know there's an x, it's just all memorized, and then you take this number, and you divide it by 2, and that gives you 1, and then you keep the sign. And now we have this, we take the square root of both sides, when we do that, we get x minus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 101. Add 1 to both sides, so we get 1 plus or minus the square root of 101. And we know that one of these answers um, is not going to work, and that has to do with the domain of the logarithm. So the original equation was log Let's go back and find it. It's up here. It's log x plus log x minus 2 equals 2. Log x plus log x minus 2 equals 2. And we know that if we take this one, for example, x minus the square root of 101, that's less than 0. Um, the square root of 100 is 10, so 101 is bigger than 10. So this is going to be negative. And you can't take the log of a negative number. Like if you take this and you put it here where the x is, it's not going to work. Um, the logarithm is only defined for positive values of x. So we just need to check that this one works. x equals 1 plus the square root of 101. 
So let's try to check this one. Let's see if we can do it. Um, I haven't tried it, but we should be able to do it using mathematics. So I'm going to put this x in here. So we have log of 1 plus the square root of 101 plus, and then here we have log, we have 1 plus the square root of 101 minus 2. Okay, and let's see what this is. This should all be equal to 2. So let's try it. This is equal to. So this is a positive number, so all is good. Also, this is also positive. All is good. The square root of 101 is bigger than 10. So you have a 1 plus a number bigger than 10 minus 2. So this is positive. So everything here is okay, so we can use the product rule. So this is the log of 1 plus the square root of 101 times. And then here what's going to happen, um, you're going to get 1 minus 2. So you're going to get minus 1. So you're going to get the square root of 101 minus 1. So there's something interesting here. I'm going to write this one more time to show you. I noticed a pattern. So this is log of parentheses square root of 101 plus 1. And then here we have square root of 101 minus 1. Going pretty quickly in this problem. So I haven't worked this out before. So this is equal to the log of. So this is going to be a plus b and then a minus b, right? So it's going to be the difference of squares. So it's a squared minus b squared. Your a is the square root of 101 and your b is 1. So this is going to be, when you square the square root of 101, you get, well, I'll write it. Why not? Square root of 101 squared minus 1 squared. I got time. This is equal to the log of 101 minus 1, which is equal to the log of 100, which is equal to 2. Boom, so it checks, all is good. So really fun. Um, log of 100 is two, because when you have the log of 100, whoops, sorry, log of 100, my pen is messed up. Paul, I have, a, I have a, a scroll wheel on for some reason with my pen. The base here is 10, so 10 to what power is 100? Two. 10 squared is 100, yeah, so it checks. That is the answer, kind of an interesting problem. So the answer to this problem, is x equals 1 plus the square root of 101. That is the solution um, to the equation log x plus log x minus 2 equals 2. Not what I expected. I thought we'd get a whole number or something nice. Anyways, kind of a random math problem. Hopefully you've learned uh, some mathematics. Even if you didn't understand everything, maybe something was helpful. Until next time, good luck. Take care.